Let's take a look at how to multiply decimals up to 20 times factors of 10. They asked us to multiply 6.17 times 10. Well, when we're multiplying by 10, remember we're making it one place value bigger. So when you have a decimal number, you can simply move your decimal point one place to the right to make your number one place value bigger or 10 times bigger. So if we move the decimal point one place to the right, this would become 61.7. Now notice it's 10 times bigger because here the six is in the ones place and here the six is in the tens place. Seven point five eight times one hundred. Well, when we multiplied by ten, we moved our decimal point one place to make it one place value bigger. If we're multiplying by one hundred, that's two factors of ten, right? Ten times ten gives us one hundred. So we would move it two place values to represent those two zeros or those two factors of ten. So if I move my decimal point two places, that gives me. 758.0 or just 758. Right, the decimal point here would make that point zero, but when it's point zero, we usually don't bother to write that. So 758. Three point nine four times one hundred. Well, just like last time, when I'm multiplying by one hundred, that's two zeros or two place values, so I'm gonna move my decimal point two places, and that's gonna give me 394. 1.09 times 100. Okay, well again, two zeros or two factors of 10 tells me to move my decimal point two places to the right or make my number two place values bigger. That's gonna be 109. 4.62 times 100. Okay, well, two zeros are two place values that I need to make this bigger. So let's move it one, two places, and that gives us 462. 4.02 times 10. Well, I'm multiplying by 10, that's only one zero or one place value. So I'm gonna move my decimal point one place, and that's gonna give me 40.2. 9.84 times 10. Okay, well I have one zero or one factor of 10, so I'm gonna move my decimal point one place to make this 98.4, right? One place value bigger. 0 0.35 times 10. Okay, well if I take my 0 0.35 Multiplying it by 10 is telling me to move my decimal point one place to the right or make it one place value bigger. So it's gonna land in between the three and the five, which would be 3.5, right? And you don't usually write that zero in front. We're not gonna say zero 3.5, it's just 3.5. 6.43 times 100. Well, 100 has two zeros or two factors of 10, so I'm gonna move my decimal point two places to get 643. 6.34 times 100. Okay, well moving my decimal point two places for those two zeros, one, two, that's gonna give me 634. 